well, how do that charms does I, Captain of the Steves? And yes, you can see that I'm actually sitting on the patch notes for Expedition 10, the Singularity. So it looks like they've changed it from being Crucible to being the Singularity. And we'll get to that in a moment. So only last week we launched No Man's Sky, a whole new platform, bringing it to Mac owners everywhere, which we know about and we know they've brought it to Utopia. So this, part, this top part here is pretty much them shaking their own hand. Now, moving on to this, Singularity Expedition. Today, we've continued this story with a Community Expedition 10 Singularity. And there is actually a trailer. So I'm just going to mute the trailer. I'm just going to hit play, and I'm just going to put it all the way back to the start. I've already watched this. So here you go. Let's have a quick look at this then, people, inside of the view of us. It looks like there's some sort of strange corrupted devices appearing in space with the purple crystals on there as well, which you can blow up. And look at that giant spider mantis thing by Tephus. That looks awesome. And it looks like the actual sentinel phages, or the sentinelized pilots, are actually going to be appearance modifier pieces for our own person. So we get to run around looking like droids. Heck yes, there's one of those weird things. They blow it up later. But yeah, looks like you, when you scan as well, look, it makes crystals appear out of nowhere. And look, there's all sentinel phage parts coming out of that crystal. Excellent. Now, it looks like it looks like they fired something at the actual freighter then, but I can't make out what it was. And these robots look just like the one out of freaking Star Wars, don't they? Yeah, they really do. I can't remember the actual name of the robot in Star Wars. But yeah, it was a female-voiced one. And it had the AI that got put inside the Millennium Falcon. I think you know the one I mean there, people. Heck yes. I don't think the Space Anomalies had much done to it. But it had a little bit of a purpley glow to it there on the ring that was going round. Here you go. This is where they blow up in space. Boom! You're done, mate. There's another guy there that's wearing a jetpack with a cape on it at the same time. So I think that is definitely a visual enhancement that's coming into game. Yeah, so we might be able to actually show off our capes inside a multiplayer. Because you could see that they could see it inside of there. But anyway, let's scroll on down and see what else we've got in here. So yeah, explorers will begin their pilgrimage at a harmonic cape, nestled amongst the purple hazed mountains of a higher XV. Singularity is a narrative-driven heavy journey and forms a second chapter of the story introduced in Interceptor. It's law, it's a law, expedition, people, which is kind of where I thought they would be posting this. There was only a couple of things that made me think that it might be a bigger update than what we conceived, and that is mainly, you know, you've got Starfield's spotlight coming out on the 11th so anybody that's eager to jump into a space exploration game might take a look at no man's sky to fill that void until um, you know, starfield drops and the other thing is the ongoing arg that's happening but hello games mentioned that inside of here so anyway we don't want to spoil too much but travelers will be invited to unravel a little of the history and the origins of the harmonic camps in the mystery that touches upon the artificial intelligence the will to exist, and the very nature of what it means to be alive. Nada and Polo will be there to support and assist travellers from the assembly of the robotic construct and with a communal goal that may shape the future of the universe. Oh, it sounds tantalising, doesn't it? I think it's going to have something to do with the Void Mother, personally, but, you know, who knows. Singularities, mysteries that extend into several layers, and players who are especially interested in the narrative can delve below the surface to uncover further clues to what the horizon for No Man's Sky. We can't wait for everyone to dive in and get started. I can't wait either. That's a new badge. That was not in the game files from what Kurt gave me. And you can see here, the actual text on this has changed from being crucible to being singularity now people so it's actually a change that's happened it's not misreporting from the actual game files after completing the singularity or when the expedition concludes you will have the option to convert your progress to a normal save it doesn't say what sort of game mode you're going to be running this in though i can only but imagine it's probably going to be higher on the field but who knows the exclusive rewards detailed below are registered at the space anomalies quicksilver synthesis companion and our aunt, aunt rewards can be redeemed across all save games the singularity expedition begins today 
Today, this is the 7th of the 6th, I've not seen the update yet on PlayStation, but be forewarned, there was a system update that I had to install just earlier, which was quite large, so you might want to get that installed to turn on your PlayStations now, people. PlayStation 5, that is, for me. And we'll run for appro approximately five weeks. Five weeks! It's a big one! It's a freaking big one! Cool. Singularity, singularity Expedition Rewards. Construct a customization set. Adopt the appearance of a mechanical automaton with this full body customization set. Based on the parts you collect and assemble over the course of the Singularity Expedition, we're very excited to see how players use this. Our first new full customization set over several years. Okay, it, it does look awesome. I have to say, it does look awesome. You know, a choice between the singularity narrative and completion of the automation suit with the Atlantid or the Crimson Head. Hmm, a choice. So you don't get both. <laughs> oh, which one would I go for? Oh no, I think I'd go for this one. I think I'd go for the one that looks like a dustbin lid. Yeah, I'm going for that one. <laughs> Golio. I'm not so keen on that one. I think I like this one more. I don't know. I might change my mind halfway through. Who freaking knows, mate? Atlantid and Atlantic construction posters. Decorate bases with the souvenirs of your singularity journey depicting the Atlas and the ethereal substance within the corrupted sentinels and possible schematics for a mysterious construct. Lovely. Nice. We've got some pestas. Pestas. Cool. Dissonant jetpack trail. This jetpack exhaust. Augmented with an Atlantium filter. When activated, it dis its dissonant effect spilled across the landscape, trail of dissonant reverberations that echo on a strange and unknown frequency. Pretty nice. I think Jason Plays is going to be happy with them. They're freaking purple, aren't they, mate? I guess. I'd rather have red myself. But there we are. A cosmetic enhancement to your freighters. The Crimson Freighter Trail. I'm getting a red trail for my freighter. Lovely. A cosmetic enhancement to your freighter's main drive. This harmonic generation drive converts the output of the freighter engines to an atlas frequency, radiating a painful crimson trail. Hold on. That was the Sentinel. Sentinel freighter trails. People have told me that they've been relabeled crimson. Okay, lovely. Living fragment base decorations. This detailed replica of the living fragment that litters the distant worlds, the prismatic grains that are thrust from the earth, the in struggle for freedom from their geological prism, is the buildable both on a drone and without and in several shapes and variants. Okay, so we're going to get purple crystals basically for our base building needs. Right there. Lovely. I suppose I look quite cool if you are on a dissonant planet and building a dissonant base. Uh, okay, Wayfarer's Helm. Okay, that's the solar helmet. <laughs> All right, you relabeled it. Cool. Despite an aerodynamic appearance and the advanced solar design, reliance on the helmet um, exclusive propulsion is not advised. For maximum safety, ensure all body parts are propelled equally. Right, okay, that's just been a flavour text. It's a freaking helmet, mate. That's what you're getting, a freaking helmet. It is quite nice, but to get that at the same time as getting given all the droid parts, I know what I'm going to be rocking as. I'm going to be freaking droid Steve for a while. Heck yes, I am. Okay, right, community research. The, the Quicksilver Synthesis Companion has concluded their geometric cape. Brilliant. They've been slowing that down for the last three weeks. And now it's just popped, and they've added it into here. Sneaky! Okay, great. So you can now unlock that, people. I did notice it went from 89% this morning all the way up to 95 I guess it's gone to 100 now. And then there's a community spotlight, people, which is pretty darn freaking awesome. Heck yes. Yeah, I, I love the community spotlight. This looks great. I kind of thought when Sean retweeted this, it might be a hint that we might be getting ship customization. Not this time, people. No. Maybe in the future, but not this time. Yeah, Lego ships as well. Pretty nice. We've also got a knowledge stone that's going all flashy and lovely and disco techy. That's very nice, mate. Very nice. And some ship designs. Some screenshots that have been shared as well. Lovely jobs. And there's also this. We look forward to seeing everybody exploring the singularities, challenges and narrative. And we have many more surprises in store for this year. Brilliant day. So, yeah, basically, this is an expedition without an update. But because it's got quite deep narrative, and it's going to also lead into some of the AR type stuff. I mean, if you jump over to Sean Murray's Twitter page, it says what it contains here. Ship of AI souls. What the fudge is a ship of AI souls? Maybe that's that thing that we saw hovering around in space that you blow up. 
A new expedition, which we know about is now the Singularity. Robotics, which we get to become a robot. Part two of four. Part arc. What the fudge is that? Okay, I guess that we're getting four parts of a story, maybe? I don't know what that means. Community goal. Brilliant, eh? Yeah, lovely job. So I need to understand more about that. Assemble a construct, which is... Does that build a robot? Are they the two the same things? Find its brain, which again is part of assemble a construct, I'd imagine. So there's, yeah, okay, fine. Crimson Trail, Wayfire at Pharaoh's Helm, and ARG Clues. So the ARG continues, people. The ARG is continuing. So that means I'm hoping something bigger on the horizon that linked to the ARG. I think there's something big coming into No Man's Sky, hopefully this year. We can only but wait and see where the ARG takes us. So I'm still thoroughly excited for No Man's Sky. And I'm I'm really eager to jump on in and to be covering off this expedition. Yeah, I'll be um, doing individual episodes, I think, for each of the different phases. So yeah, join us for that. I'll be making a playlist on the expedition and going through it. And hopefully it's going to have some hints and tips and things you can do. So yeah, if you like the sounds of that, hit the like, hit the subscribe and all that sort of shenanigans. And also I'll be bringing you any news and anything around the ARG and clues that I find. I am very law orientated, law minded. So yeah, anyway, people, I better end off now. And uh, I'm going to go be checking to see if I've got the update on my PlayStation and, and on Steam. I'm hitting refresh like a madman possessed. Till next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.